This episode is part of the transformational podcast Systems in Motion. If you want to learn more about the leverage points, please listen to the opening episode. In this podcast, Kamra presents a breakthrough in eliminating plastic bags in Bangladesh and analyzes the leverage points of this innovation to intervene in the problematic plastic consumption of our time. According to the American newspaper Proverbs, we are polluting our planet with 5 trillion plastic shopping bags a year. Some 160,000 of them are used every second, and fewer than 3% are recycled. It is very dangerous to wildlife. It takes 700 years to start breaking down, and when it does degrade, it just crumbles into small particles of plastic. Particles that are still poisonous. International Bar Association says toxic substances are released into the soil when plastic bags perish under sunlight. And if plastic bags are burned, they release a toxic substance into the air causing ambient air pollution. In addition, it may allow inroads into cancerous disease. Then how can we protect the world from this fatal plastic bag? Biodegradable plastic bags might seem to be an answer. The news agency Reuters says, as countries around the world try to cut down on throwaway plastic shopping bags, Bangladesh is hoping to cash in on an alternative. Plastic-like bags made from zoot the plant fiber used to produce burlap bags. Bangladeshi scientist Dr. Mubarak Ahmed Khan has found a way to turn the fiber into low-cost biodegradable cellulose sheets that can be made into greener through away bags that look and feel much like plastic ones. The name of this product is Shonali Bag. The website textiletoday.com.bd reported the strength of it is also about to sem a polythene bag, 100% eco-friendly, suitable, sustainable, recyclable, and will be mingled with soil within only 3 to 4 months. Used colors are also food grade. Main chemical ingredients are zoot cellulose, synthetic polymer as binder and cross-linker for chemical reaction. Zoot contains about 75% cellulose and 50% could be extracted. In an interview with a newspaper of Bangladesh named The Daily Star, Dr. Mubarak said, for producing the polymer, first cellulose is extracted from zoot fiber. The cellulose undergoes surface modification to induce water solubility. Then it is blended with biodegradable binder and dissolved in warm water to make a viscous solution. Finally, the polymer solution is poured in a casting tray and allowed to air dry at 40 degrees Celsius and 40% relative humidity. The biodegradable sheets are then dislodged from the casting tray and the bags are met by conventional sealing. What about the demand of Shonali bag? Reuters reported Mr. Mubarak said today more than 60 countries from China to France have outlawed the plastic bags in at least some regions or cities. As the bans widen, more than 100 Bangladeshi and international firms are looking into using the new zoot based shopping sacks. He is receiving emails or phone calls from buyers from different countries every day. However, the Daily Star said the product is yet to become commercially feasible with its cost of production currently double that of polythene. This results in a higher selling price. Dr. Mubarak said it is one and a half times more expensive to produce zoot polymer bags compared to polythene bags. It could be reduced if production was scaled up. 
Now they are producing the polymer through a semi-automatic machine. But Zoot polymer made bags will be available among all if we can go for its commercial production using an automatic machine. Though to him the problem does not lie within technology, rather it lies in fund management and scaling up. It needs proper funds which he is not getting yet. Another newspaper, The Business Standard, reported Dr. Mubarak said it will need a new project proposal and it will have to be passed in the Executive Committee of National Economic Council of Bangladesh government. He does not know why the initiative is not being taken up. They are now ready and they are now waiting for a big investment for commercial production of these bags. They need an investment of more than 3 billion euro for it. To sum up, inspired by a report of Eco Wow Life, we can say, a few years from now, when you go shopping and hand you your goods in anything but the bioplastic zoot polybag shonali bags, be smart. Ask for them. Apart from all the environmental and patriotic reasons, it is more substantial than the regular polythene bags. It is the finest example of sustainable alternative eco-friendly consequence. So at any how, we must solve the problems and start producing Shunali bag in commercial basis. As it seems that lack of money, other countries or organization can come ahead to arrange the fund for its commercial production. We can relate the Shunali bag with two leverage points of system thinker Doniela Meadows. One is Leverage point 4, the power to add, change or self-organize system structure. This product can add a sustainable way to protect the environment by changing our use. The second leverage point is number 3, the point of the goals of the system. We can fix the target to remove plastic bag gradually throughout the world by establishing the use of this biodegradable product. It is last but not the least. Let's talk about a bit who is Dr. Mubarak Ahmed Khan. He is former Chief Scientific Officer and Director General of Atomic Energy Research Establishment, Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission. He is now working as Scientific Advisor of BGMC, Ministry of Zoot and Textiles, Bangladesh. He has completed Masters in Chemistry and PhD in polymer and radiation chemistry. He is working in several promising areas of nanotechnology, material science, biodegradable polymers, biomedical science, applied science etc. He worked in Germany as DAAD and Alexander von Humboldt Fellow, in Japan as JSPS and MIF Fellow, in USA Michigan State University as visiting scientist, in Australia as IAEA fellow. According to the Eco Wildlife, he has been researching since 1990 to make and use Jute's business uses and potential outcomes, as indicated by the science based research database Scopus. He is viewed as the leading researcher in Jure's study around the world. This episode was produced in cooperation with Meet Studios.